Okay, Bismillah. I think that's everything sorted. So, this is my third attempt trying to record this video. I keep messing something up, but inshallah, I think this should be coming through this microphone now. So, the degree apprenticeship exact or the degree apprenticeship windows are opening now. Application windows are opening now. So, I thought this is a good time to make this video, which is to explain. Um, through anecdotal experience One thing that I did To pretty much 100% guarantee my spot at IBM I'm not working at IBM now But it's an offer that I had It's one of the places that I got accepted in And I think it's one of the best interviews That I did In terms of my performance in it um, And it's quite a unique story And I think it's quite cool And I think it's quite a good lesson for Um for everyone to learn from inshallah so here we go for IBM just like any other degree apprenticeship I had to start off by applying through the website and that involved the, the typical process basically like giving your CV uh, maybe I had a cover letter or whatever I'm not really sure it was three years ago but uh, that's the typical process to even get to the interview stage essentially and I think we had a few uh, assessments so I, I think with IBM it was slightly different to other companies where they had like a few assessments that you had to do and these assessments are like brain uh, mind games it's like memory games uh, one example would be I don't know it's like they gave like GCSE maths questions <laughs> in a way I, I'm not sure it's not it wasn't hard at all it was just a, maybe it's just a matter of uh, filtering out those that are really not suitable for this degree apprenticeship but uh, I wouldn't worry about that but I, once I got through all of that and got to the interview stage my instructions for the interview was that I need to make a presentation of any form and I can't have words or I can't write words on my presentation I just need to have pictures on the slideshow essentially and Okay, so that's what I was given and I kind of focused on the word any form, like it doesn't need to be through PowerPoint. And this is where I need to think, subhanAllah, every, everyone is going to be doing this presentation just like I am. So I need to think, what am I going to do to make myself unique to everyone else in this, um, in this presentation? So what am I going to do that's different? So I was thinking, let me do this. Let me use the little uh, programming experience that I have and make a little application, a slideshow application. So that's exactly what I did, which was not as hard as it sounds. So at the time, uh, you can see earlier in my, on my channel, I was making uh, Java videos. Yeah, like a Java game. I made like a little game called Squares Journeys, like a little maze game that I made. And you can see I had pretty much the basic skills of making jframes and whatnot I, you know i don't use java anymore but i had the basic skills of doing the ui at the time and i was thinking look it's perfect for me to use these skills make a slideshow uh put the images and what whatever i would have for the normal powerpoint um or like what i would have done for the powerpoint but put it into my slideshow presentation so that's what i did i made this program and when I started my interview, I didn't actually tell the woman that was interviewing me that I was using this. So the way it worked, uh, as soon as I jumped into the interview, I was sharing my screen immediately. So they didn't see the fact that I ran this code. Yeah, That's important for later because of how I'm going to review it. So yeah, I was going through everything and everything was going good, alhamdulillah, just like normal. And obviously, when it came to the end... um. Actually, before it came to the end, let me say one other thing. One other thing that I did about the slideshow, because I programmed it myself. So one of the questions she asked me was, can you show me some programming experience or something that shows your like uh, your dedication for programming? This is one place I could have just revealed the whole thing right there. But um, I embedded a button into my PowerPoint or into my slideshow program that opened my maze game. So you know that maze game that I was talking about earlier that's on my channel. It opened that and I was just showing her and she was pretty impressed by that on its own. Because again, she was under the impression that I was using PowerPoint. 
and she's wondering how did I use this button to open up my my program my my maze game in PowerPoint so I showed her that and she was pretty impressed and then when we moved on to the end the end was like talk about your passion for software engineering and whatnot uh, talk about your passion for IBM and basically everything I could do to think about all of the IBM mottos and whatnot I did like the basic research on IBM and kind of spoke about the values that IBM have and I kind of tied it all up and then finally I tied it up all into the big reveal which was to show that this whole presentation was programmed and shows like my ambition for programming and whatnot and once I did that I could tell by her face like when I showed her the code that like I closed the slideshow and I showed her the whole thing was programmed she was buzzing man uh, I was buzzing as well but subhanallah I could tell boom I 100% guaranteed that place and that was actually the case because um, not too long after I got the acceptance letter and whatnot I didn't end up going with them just because the company that I work at now uh, alhamdulillah for me they approached me a bit earlier and everything was sorted out a bit earlier so I kind of just done that interview just for the sake of building my experience a bit further but my point here by saying all of this this story to you guys is that now that these um, degree apprenticeship application now that the application window is opening soon you guys really need to try my biggest tip is just try to be unique man um, one of the most common questions that people message me with is do I need software engineering experience do I need programming experience yeah so actually a lot of these companies they don't um they don't write in the requirements list that you need to know how to code however although that is not written in the requirements list the issue is all of the other applicants will have some programming knowledge because that's that's the kind of audience that goes towards degree apprenticeships it's the people that can already do something right you have to think to yourself if you're only going there with your a levels how on earth are you going to compare to these people that have already uh, have some basic knowledge in software engineering? Why would the company choose you over the person that has that basic knowledge? Um, and it doesn't only apply to software engineering, any other kind of um, degree apprenticeship. What my point is, build a portfolio as much as you can. Build your experience level before you get to that point. Make it something more than just your A-levels, just good grades. Just good grades definitely helps, but you need something beyond that. And yes, inshallah, I hope that helped. I'm thinking of making a few more videos. Um, inshallah, soon I'm going to be putting out my um, three-year update. It's been that long, <laughs> yeah, so... I hope that helps and that's it. Assalamu alaikum.